Okay, a very good afternoon to all. Okay, today I am going to present how to write on paper two section C. Okay, first and all, I would like to let you see this one. Okay, let's look at this slide. Does it look familiar to you all? Okay, this is the this is an essay for section C in your UPSR writing. Okay, let's today I am going to teach you how the, some skill on patient sleep tree order this one. Okay, please jot down it and memorize it. Patient sleep tree order pills. Later, I will describe what is that. Okay, let's begin. Okay, let's learn on the new stage of PT SIP 3 OPS. Okay, patients SIP 3 order fields. What is that? Okay, through five steps, there are five steps. Okay, step one, step two, step three, step four, and step five. Okay, let's look at the first step. Okay. The first step is decide if it's past or present tense. T is means for past or present tense. How we describe it. Okay, let's look at this. Okay, these are the tenses. Okay. Walk. Okay, past what? This one walk is present tense. W A L K E D. This one called E D is past tense. Okay. Okay, next. Okay, sometimes past tense doesn't have ED, but the spelling will change. For example, this one, draw, is the present tense, but when past, it becomes drew, D-R-E-W. Okay, how we know the question, the given question is past or present tense. Okay, let's look at this question. To identify either it is past or present tense. Okay, we go through the passage, then we see, we circle the tenses and the verbs. Okay, this one, the first one, prepare, heard, drew, surprise, coach, past tense. Then we need to write our essay in past tense. Okay, we go to step two. Okay, fill in the table. What is the table? Okay, T is for the table. Look what is the table is. Okay, these are the tables. Okay, the table contains four columns. The first one, is sentence connector sinkers. The second one is subject. Then the third one, the fourth one is owner of four W one H. Later we go it, go through it one by one. Okay. Okay, this is the first column, second, third, and the fourth. Okay, let's look at the first one. Sentence are the example for sentence connector. We need to memorize it and it it, it help us during our essay. Okay, but I recommend these three for you. 
copy and practice making sentences using this. These three we are using the most all the time. Okay, sequence, cause and effect, and addition. Okay, copy and practice making sentences using this after this presentation done. Okay, let's look at sequence. The first one is firstly, secondly, then, next, afterward, finally, eventually, previously. Okay, this one we can use in our essay. Okay, cause on cause and effect. Because since for so consequently, therefore thus and the last one is what hurts. Okay, hence. Okay, this the third one additional. Okay, let's go through the next slide. Okay, the table. We back to the table again. Okay, next is let's go to the subject. Okay, what is subject? Let's read. Okay, subject. The subject is who or what the sentence is about. It is usually a noun or pronouns. Okay, this is the subject. Okay, pronouns. I, you, he, she, we, they, it. These are pronouns. Okay, now the man, city, the dog, the house, Taban, Chambada, my friends, and I. These are now. It is very common because we use it in our daily life. Okay, next. We go to the works. What is works? Okay. What is works? What is a works? Okay. A works is a word that describe an action. It tells about something a person, animals, or force of nature can do or be. Okay, next. We go for owner and for W1H. Okay, what is this? Okay, the first one, method one, owner. Okay, this is the table how we use on it. Contains three columns. The first one is subjective. Then E. Laboration. Okay, look at the first one. Object. He is eating an apple. Okay, apple is an object. Okay, look at the second one. He has a house. House is an object. Okay, let's go through for nouns. Okay, she is a doctor. Doctor is a noun. Mr. Rex is a teacher. Okay, teacher is a noun. Okay, let's look at adjective. Ali is tall. Tall is an adjective. Is angry. Angry is an adjective. Okay, let's go to the adverbs. Okay, is here. Miss Lee scream loudly. Here and loudly is the adverbs. Okay, sorry for the. Mistake A D V E R P D V E R B Apple. Okay. Let's go to the method two four W one H. Okay, what is that? Okay. Four W is what, who, when, where. One one H is how. Okay, I repeat four W one H. What who, where, and how. Okay, let's go through it one by one. Okay, Ali open the gate. What Ali open the gate? The gate is what? Okay, Miss Lee become. Okay, what Miss Lee will become? A teacher. Who? We use who. Then, next. Next, the accident happened. When the accident is happened? Okay, in the morning. 
okay Ivan live where where he live in Taman Chempaka okay the fire the fire spread how the fire spread okay rapidly rapidly means very very fast okay Let's go to step three. What is that? Okay, step three is sip. Okay, it's for similar. S is for similars, I for idioms, P is proverb. We need to think the think of the suitable similars, idioms, proverbs for our essay to help our to help us to get more marks and higher grade. Okay, we need to think the similars, idioms, and proverbs. Let's go to the next side. Okay, this is a similars. Example of similars. Okay, busy as a bee. Sparkles like diamond. Hungry a bear. Red flat as a pancake. Hard as a rock. These are similars. Okay. Okay, this is. Okay, look at this example. Who someone likes to jog with someone? Who out who yourself is our idioms? We need to memorize it so we can use it in our history. Okay, these are the proverb. Okay, let's look at the first proverb. If you play with fire, you will get burned. Okay, these are the proverb. Describe some things. Okay, let's go through the meaning. If you get involved in something dangerous or beyond your abilities, you will properly experience negative consequence. Okay, these are the meaning for the first proverb. Okay, to memorize. And we must use the suitable proverbs for our essay. We cannot simply put our proverbs into our essay. Okay. Okay, think of the similar either proverbs that you can put into your essay. Okay. Later I will teach you how we we put the suitable sip to our essay. Okay, let's go to the step four. Okay, step four. Okay, three is for three paragraph. Okay, the after after we go for step one, step two, and what step one, two, three. Now we go to step four. Plan out three paragraph. What is the three paragraph? The first one is intro, then body and conclusion. Before we start writing, we need to plan plan this one. Okay, let's go through it. These are the paragraph. Three paragraph flow. Okay, the first one. Okay, the first paragraph. What we should put in in the first paragraph. Okay. The first paragraph we usually put introduction, the setting, times of place. Then into introduct the character. Okay, these are we usually put in the first paragraph in our essay. Okay, then we go to the climax. What is the climax? Climax is the second paragraph. The action of problems. Okay, here is for the paragraph two. Action and problem. What is the problem you face? You face in the essay. Okay, the third one, the solution, lesson or message. Okay, that you want to in the end. Okay, these are the conclusion. 
Okay, let's go to step five. What five? Okay, step five. After that, we finish all. We need to check overall writing. What we need to check? Okay, we need to check for the punctuation and the spelling. Okay, because when we did some some wrong in punctuation and spelling, we will get the dark marks. Okay, this is the step five, the final step after we finish all, then we check overall writing, punctuation and spelling. Okay, these are the skill I call patient, sips, three oral pills. Okay. This is a very simple way to help you in your writing. Okay, let's go through it. Okay, now let's practice. Okay, and student, uh, do you got any problem? Okay, let's go to the step one. Decide to use past tense, past or present tense. Okay, how? F find clues in the words given. Okay, example, prepare. Okay, let's go. How we find the clue? Okay, let's look through it. Okay, like this question. Okay, the first one, prepare. Okay, we find the clue. What is that? Either is present tense or past tense. Before we start doing our essay. Okay, next. Okay, fill in the table. Okay, we need, we fill in the table. This one. Okay. Let's look at the first picture. Okay, the words given here, leg, fishing trip, sampan, prepay. Okay, how we do it using the verb? Okay, first, let's look at this one. Akma, love fishing. Okay, we introduce the, the character in the picture. How we introduce it? Okay. Okay, we name this boy as Akma. Give him a name. Okay, loves fishing. Why we say love fishing? Because he is going to fishing trip. Okay, introduction for the first for the essay must use in present tense. Why? Because it is a statement. Okay, remember this. The first, the first quest, the first sentence in your essay, we must use. Present tense because it is a statement. Okay, especially when you introduce the character. Okay, then let's look at the words like fishing, fishing trip. How we view the sentence. Okay, how, when. Okay, okay, we put here sentence connected. Last Saturday. Okay, last Saturday. Okay, Akma and his father went to the lake for fishing trip with their sampan. Okay, here we use this one. We put Ona here and 4W1H. Okay, this one. Okay, then how we use the words prepare. What they prepare here? Okay, they prepare the fishing net to bring along okay they prepare their fish there and they bring it along okay next let's see this one wetting heard through fishing net okay how we how we make this using these words to make a simple sentences okay okay they were where okay wetting they were waiting patiently in their sampan. Okay, they went where they went. Okay, in their sampan. Okay, 
After that, out of the blue, okay. Out of the blue here means suddenly. Out of the blue, they heard a noise coming from nearby. What noise? Okay, maybe the the, the fish make some noise. Okay. Then, Akma fathers through what? Through what? Okay, the fishing net into the water and went. Okay, after the father, the fishing net, he went for a while. Okay, let's look at the third picture. Who out? Surprise, coach, home. Okay, this one. How we use, well, how we build the sentence and use with the given words, four words here. Okay, we put the sentence connect finally. Okay, finally. Okay, who? Subject here, we put they. They are trying to pull up the neck to check why they pull up the neck. Okay, they need to check the neck either got fish or not. Okay, then what happened? Okay, they were surprised and overjoyed. Why? Okay, after this sentence, you ask yourself why? Because there were many fish caught in the net. Okay, because there are many fish caught in the net. So they are surprised and overjoyed. Okay, now let's go through the next slide. Okay, the step. Three. Okay. Okay. Step three. Okay. Choose suitable sim. What is sim? Similars, idioms, and proverbs. Okay. Here the there are a suggestion of sips. I teach you how to put in. Okay. The first one. Okay. They went as patient as the hours. Okay. This one. The first one. His father act as fast as lightning. Okay, these are similar as as patient as the hours are similar. As fast as lightning are similar. Okay, the third home satisfied and happy because everything come to him who waits. Okay, this is proverbs. Okay, what is the meaning of everything come to him? Who wins? Okay, means what here? Means their pay has paid off. What? Their passion of waiting and for the fish are paid off here. The meaning here for the proverbs. Okay, step four. Plan your plan your paragraph. Okay, this one. The first paragraph, second, and third. Okay, you need to plan it. How you plan it. Okay, this is the first one. Akma love fishing, like fishing trap, prepare fishing net. Okay, this is the first one. Okay, usually first paragraph, we put three to four sentences. Okay, then we go to the climax. Okay, when passion hurts quickly through fishing net. Okay, this one for the second paragraph and the final paragraph, the third paragraph, pull out. To check, surprise, enjoy. Okay, many fish and when third paragraph. Okay. Usually we will put proverbs here because we need to send our message to the reader. Okay, that's why we need to put proverbs in the third paragraph. Okay, and start right your essay okay after you go to go through the step one step two step two step three and step four and you write your essay okay after you finish writing your essay <coughs> okay then we go for step five okay this is the final product of the essay okay let's look at the first paragraph okay in here, the first paragraph, I use three simple sentences. Okay, let's go through it. Okay, the first one, Akma love fishing. Last Saturday, Akma and his father went to the lake for a fishing trip with their sampan. They prepared the fishing net to bring along. Along. Okay, this is the three simple sentences we 
I put it for the further for the paragraph. Okay, the second paragraph. Okay, let's look at. It. They were waiting patiently. Okay, then we use the connector. Out of the blue, they heard a noise coming from nearby. Okay, Akma fathers act as quickly as lightning and threw the fishing net into the water and wet. Okay, here we put the similars here. You see the first similars, as quickly as lightning. Our first similars we put for the, our second paragraph. Okay, they wet as special as the hours. Okay, these are the second similars we put for our essay. Okay, second paragraph, usually I will use one simple sentence and three compound sentences. Okay, let's go for the third paragraph. Okay, finally, they try to pull up the net to check. Okay, they pull out the net and check. They're surprised and overjoyed because there were many fish caught in the net. Okay, then what happened? Okay, they went high and happy because everything comes to him who waits. Okay, these are the proverbs I use. Okay, the, this proverb means what? Okay, their passion for waiting the, waiting the fish has paid off. Their, their passion had paid off. Why? Because they caught many fish to bring home. These are the, the meaning of the proverbs. <coughs> okay, then we count the words. Okay, in this essay, okay, I use only 102 words. Okay, first paragraph, three simple sentences. The second one, one simple sentences, three compound. Then the last paragraph, we use four compound sentences. Okay, add on only how many paragraphs, how many sentences? Four, four, only 11. Okay, there are how many sentences? Okay, there are 11 sentences for this essay. Okay, step five. Okay, after we write our essay, we check overall writing. What we need to check all. Okay, we check for punctuation and spelling. Okay, we need to check it. If we did wrong in punctuation and spelling, we will get deduct marks. The markers will deduct your mark. Okay, this, okay, this, okay, how, okay, let's go to this, okay, this one, this one. Okay, this one, you need to copy it or I give you time. Okay, I give you five minutes to jot down this one.
Okay, next we go for the quizy times. Okay, wait for a while. Happen? Uh, line down, line down. Internet problem. Set control ka yang la ano sambung terus. Kasi on set to PowerPoint.
Okay. How the quizzy? Okay, here the winner, the god. I lost. I lose, sorry. I lose. Me, teacher, lose. What? Halo, ini lagi Ruang Ayo ngaku Tunang Okay, the winner for the quiz is God, Lu, the second one, Vincent Ng, and Lu Karisha. Okay, please WhatsApp me. I got some mystery gift for you. Thank you. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you.